When it comes to homelessness, it's easy to focus focus on the immediate needs. At-risk families and kids need food, money, and a roof over their heads. But how do you lift people out of the vulnerable position they're in and set them on a path to stability? That's a million dollar question, but three local groups think they might have a solution. 10 News reporter Madison Allworth looked into how the city of Clearwater, Pinellas Schools, and the Homeless Empowerment Program are taking a, an approach at tackling the issue of homelessness with education. For me, what's really unique about this is this collaboration is taking away all of the obstacles that prohibit people that are, have find themselves in a homeless situation from getting back on their feet. The Pinellas County School Board, the Homeless Empowerment Program, or HEP, and the City of Clearwater are working together to create a partnership unlike any other. The HEP already provides service to homeless individuals. The partnership with the school district brings the element of education to that menu of services that HEP already provides. So Adults can focus on technical training, opening careers that were never available to them in areas where Clearwater businesses are desperately looking for talent. We, we have a constant need for bus drivers, uh, food service staff, uh, plant operations staff. This gives us an opportunity to potentially provide individuals with a career path uh, in some of those high needs kinds of areas. Classroom education would be paired with classes at Pinellas Technical College and job apprenticeships. They're going to be connected to an employer and a career path. It gives them an opportunity to break that cycle of unemployment. The center of this new partnership would be the Curtis Fundamental Elementary School building and surrounding land. And at this point, what is the land being used for? It is vacant. It has been vacant since 2013. It's adjacent to the school district property currently. It's underutilized and dormant. The transfer of this land hasn't even been fully discussed yet. And then if and when that transfer is approved, it will take years to build affordable housing next to the abandoned school. But here's the thing. This program can get started before then. As things progress, we're able to uh, shortly start putting some teachers in place on the HEP campus um, and, and start the programs and start impacting families' lives. So if this deal goes through, the number of homeless or at-risk people who HEP could help in Clearwater would nearly double.